Lloyd Vehicle Consulting stickers, t-shirts and mugs are available by clicking the link to the Google form in the video description below. Good afternoon. Today is the 17th of September and this is uh, Sandown Airport on the Isle of Wight. This is the third part of uh, the 2022 Isle of Wight Mini Adventure of West Country Minis. And uh, there's a bit of a show going on. I'm just uh, making my way around and just uh, seeing what's here. 1966 Austin Mini Cooper S. I think this is a genuine one. That's very, very nice indeed, viewers. Beautiful. This one's more of a replica. This has had uh, the uh, rear lights actually changed. They should more like they look more like the ones on this car. But they've been changed for sort of earlier style ones. And again, I suppose it's supposed to look a bit like the one on the left. But this would have started life as I don't know some mini Mayfair probably just my dash. Not sure. But it's very common to uh, sort of make these newer ones look like the older ones and fit uh, badges like that. So 88, 89, this is 89 only, the Mini 30, the fourth Mini 30 that we've actually seen here. I didn't realise they made so many of these viewers, um, but here they are celebrating the 30th anniversary of uh, Mini production. Mini van that's been quite heavily modified actually, the doors have been been modified that engine is no longer anything to do with an A series. Presumably that's like a sort of Honda K20 or something like that. Interesting. 1967 Austin Mini Cooper S, which has been lowered a bit. How on earth do you get in there? My gosh, it's bad enough in a standard Mini. <laughs> wow. Um, Mini Mayfair 87, 88. I wonder if this has got the larger brakes on it, which came in in 88. But yes, yeah, so the a Mayfair was for one, or a bit a little sorry, modified Mayfair was the one that I drove in 2020. The car that I'm driving this weekend is over there somewhere, we've already seen that in a couple of videos. 1977 to sorry, 60. Sorry, I get words get my words out properly here 1976 to 77 mini clubman with a 15 pound mini boot lid in it i didn't realize a, a boot lid was only 15 pounds all sorts of bargains around here 1998 mini cooper in this sort of dark green color that's uh, so typical of them 20 11 car that I can't talk about because that will have a Prince engine in it. I'm afraid, viewers, we don't talk about the Prince engine, which is also in that one. This car has a tri tech so that's okay. R53, I think this one would be. Oh, it's got a six speed. Definitely an S then with a supercharger. Nineteen seventy two seventy three Mini Clubman. Although I'm not sure there's too much of that Clubman there. Another R fifty three, it says on the side of here. Supercharged, yes indeed. Interesting headlamps. Right, skip that one I'm afraid for you. Let's move on to this orange, or I think it might be a vermilion colour this actually. Mini bits. 85 to 86. Oh, it's an automatic. Wow. Fabulous. Always forget that they make the automatic minis. This, uh, well, it started life as two minivans, presumably from about 1967, but it's certainly not standard in any description now, is it? Amazing. Riley Elf, quite a late one actually if I've got those doors on it, that's right yes, 1969 only because that's when Riley disappeared, wonderful, 
1990-1991 Mini Cooper. Oh, I think yeah, it's an R50 or 53. Can't, I always forget the difference between the R50 and R53. So I know the R53 is later, but I can't remember exactly when those came in. We'll another club in 70, 172 left hand drive. Interesting. This is Sprite. Guys. No, it's the city. Gosh, it's a very late city then. Uh, 91, 92, those wheels have um, been added later. They do presumably have upper handling and things because the city was originally a little steel one to be very, very um, thin indeed. Current generation Mini Cabrio John Cooper works. I have driven one of these years. It was um, entertaining. It was very, 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 very quick. We like this one, owned by Yes for Fun on Instagram. Ooh, 2000 Cooper Sport. Gosh, from uh, John Cooper Garages itself, in this very nice green colour. Yeah, it's 2000. Ooh, oh my gosh, is this a, if that is a genuine mini minor, it'll be a really, really early one. It'll be before 1961. It certainly looks like it's very old. Beautiful. Ooh, another minky here. The K series put in it. Presumably that's sort of life as a clubman because they're more common than 1275 GTs. They did look at actually officially putting a K series into a mini in the uh, 1990s, but then they actually abandoned the idea would have allowed them to fit a five-speed gearbox as well. Ooh, Morris Mini Cooper S is a very early plate. And look at those door handles. Yes, this will be sort of early 60s then. I see Mr. Bill from Fuel Power has parked his car here. Fuel Power is the reason why I'm here. They uh, asked me to come along. So he'll be out about filming somewhere. 1991 Mini City. I actually have uh, driven, you know, I, I did a walk around of this about two years ago actually. It's one of the first minis I've ever had on the channel, I think, of any description. 71, 72 minivan that's had some later doors and front. And actually, no, this would have been based on a clubman in that case, which is why it's got the uh, later doors and, and uh, with the flat front end. So it's a clubman van. Maybe in the state where it's had some steel panels welded in place of the windows. Nice headlight. 7273 Mini, but it's another one of these Cooper replicas. It's very shiny. It's very shiny as this one as well. This has had a sort of body kit put on it. Um, again, from the, from the early 80s, but that, I think, is an engine out of the Suzuki Swift GTI because I, you can fit these two many quite easily. Um, that would be nice and fast then. Right, we can't talk about that one. Afraid. Ooh, it's the um, modern clubman. Ooh, a neon by Mini Special Edition. 1991-1992. Still got its original wheels and wheel trims on it as well. So not an official cabrio because they don't look like this the official cabrios. I don't think I've seen a cabrio here so far today. Um, this one's from the early 80s, 83, 84 registration. Again, I'll just skip, skip that one as well, I'm afraid. Interesting, this, uh, this van's had one of two sort of cosmetic things happen to it. It's, it's correct for the van to have sliding windows and the early style door handles and the hinges and things like that. Um, it's, it's a nice smell about that one as well. I don't know what you've ever had exactly there. 
1990, 1991. Don't know what, don't know what um, specification that is actually. Hello to Mike the Mini Cooper on Instagram. So yes, the uh, 1300 with fuel injection, so it'll be um, 92-93 is about right because Canada converters were mandatory from 1st of January 93, so that is why they switched to fuel injection for all minis. This one here. Is that a pirate meerkat on the front? Interesting. Oh, we've got a professor meerkat in there as well. Forget his name. Oh, and I got on this side so I don't get run over. Oh, another Mayfair. Seen quite a few Mayfairs here today. 91, 92. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight. This one's a ninety-nine two thousand. Ooh, it's a Japanese spec one. That's fascinating. It's just a Mayfair rather than a Cooper. Wow, it's stuff look like air conditioning in it, won't it? Fabulous. Mm, green and beige leather interior. Very appealing, viewers. Very appealing indeed. 92, 93. 96, 97. Green interior. Anniversary edition. Never seen one of those before. Ooh, a mini one. You don't see too many of these on the first generation. I can't remember if this had a 1.4 or just a simply detuned tri tech in it. Clubman 7172. Very wide arch there. That's a very, very late R50 or R53. Another mini one. There's tons of these coming in. The ferry, mu the ferry must have come in. That's what it is. Have to come and take a look at more about those a little bit later on. Uh, yeah, 2004 to 5, Mini 1. 85, 86. And that's what a Studio 2 actually looks like, as opposed to <laughs> the one that uh, I'm driving, which, um, yeah, that uh, sort of light blue one there, which doesn't look anything like that anymore. Uh, so, yeah, it's got the uh, earlier rear lights fitted to it, but it's uh, 85 or 86. Mini 25 from 1984. This is a really, really nice one, actually. That's, a, that's an absolutely beautiful condition. I think it's very, very original, too. Gosh, considering how badly these rust, that's um, in really nice condition. So, yeah, 87, 88. I think those are off um, the 90s mini though, those, uh, those wheel trips. The Mini E. Gosh, this is a Mark II mini. Six, uh, 68, 69, so late Mark II. This would be on the hydroelastic suspension as opposed to rubber cones that everything else is on. Still got the sliding windows, the exposed um, hinges and the sort of house style door handles. But uh, different rear lights, for some reason. Yes, and it's, it is a Mark II. I saw this Mini in Southampton actually yesterday. Really, really early R50 Mini on a Y registration. The only ones registered on a Y plate were cars that were assigned to dealers for uh, sales and technical training, and then um, cars that were registered by BMW UK themselves. So that's a rare specimen and of course I've uh, driven one as Mr Richardson from Furious Driving was uh, kind enough to let me have a go in his. Someone's left the uh, doors of this one open, I wonder why that is. 
I'll have a look inside. That's good. I can take a look inside. Gosh, it's um, got that classic 80s mini steering wheel. I'm not sure you're sure if that's correct for this car or not, though. It's a Molly. It, Molly might be a Mayfair, actually. She's got a rev counter. Interesting. And hello to Saf24 on uh, Instagram. It's got the uh, Allegro Mark Freestyle steering wheel on this as well. Which is a reason it's really special from about 1980, so 79, 80 registration. I don't know uh, what it would have looked like originally, but that looks uh, it's pretty good. We've got the LED headlamps going on there. Another one of these. Uh, Clubman Estate. Yes, it is a Clubman Estate because it's got the glass in the back. Very early one, actually, 6970. Don't know what revving is going on in the background. So this is, again would have been would have been a Clubman Estate originally because the body shell is different from the actual vans. Um, yes, yeah, it's got a flat flat front end anyway. That's a um, I mean looking thing, isn't it? So yeah. 78, 79 originally, but uh, who knows what now. Ooh, another special edition. Mini Rose with a pink roof. Although the, uh, the interior looks pretty, looks uh, it's pretty standard actually. It's based on a city or something, isn't it? There's no rev counter in there. Uh, mini pickup. Late one, 80, 81. Actually, might be based more up though on the um, club and body shell. Yes, it is because it hasn't got the uh, older style doors and things. So it's a very late term um, for a clubman then if it's uh, on an X. Twelve seventy five GT, seventy two seventy three. Ninety-two, ninety-three. Sorry, ninety-three, ninety-four. That one is probably a Cooper. But a very original-looking pickup from the. Uh, so as you, as you can see, the pickup here is different from that uh, Clubman one. But physically, there's less metal on this B pillar here. Still got these house-style door handles and the exposed hinges of the sliding windows. Very practical though. 72, 73, many thousand. Yes, I thought so. The uh, later ones don't have a green engine block. Oh gosh, I drove one of these viewers. <laughs> I drove one last year. It was absolutely insane. It's got, I think, in excess of 300 horsepower. Totally mad car. Eighty-eight, eighty-nine Mini here. One of the earlier ones from the Cooper Revival. I didn't realize the Coopers had a cloth interior. I thought we had a leather one, but could be totally wrong about that. I'm no expert on uh, on Mini's really views, as you probably realised by now. Yeah, on a Queso ninety-two, ninety-three. Uh, countryman, we mustn't talk too much about that, dears, because otherwise we'll get in trouble. 7778, 1275 GT. Hmm, interesting rear lights. Ooh, yes, very late Wolsey Hornet Mark III. Um, he's only lasted till 69, that's a 68, 69 registration. They got these uh, newer doors with the wind-up windows a little bit uh, earlier. That interior, though, is a bit of a late 80s Mini. Yes, much easier to take the bonnet off to work on the Mini than try to sort of prop it up in original struts. Much easier. Wow, that's a much modified old van. 
Uh, I wouldn't call myself that. <laughs> yeah. See you yes, that's that's me. What's the videos all for? Uh, for my channel. What channel is it? Uh, it's called uh, Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. Who? Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. Yeah, I bought the first, first first part's already up. I'm on part three now. Okay. <laughs> it's 2001 here. Another R53 Cooper S. Been to Castle Cooper apparently. Yeah, I'll skip on the uh, Clubman for reasons I've mentioned before. What year? I don't know what year that Countryman is. Oh, a very like classic when he was made to look a little bit older than it is. Uh, it's got Alfa Romeo seats in it. Wow, crazy. So that's about a 99. Hello to 1293 uh, Grey Mini on Instagram. 1293 Grey Mini is having a bit of work, I see. If you're 52 or 4, the Cabrio. Right. Let's get that one. Actually, this one, I, I think it's again one of these R52 or 54 Cabrios. Who knows? But it's um, unrecognisable now, that's uh, quite different. Ooh, 2000 Mini Cooper, very late one. Look at this. Mini 40. That looks fantastic. So, uh, Mini 40 would be 1999, but that's a personal plate, so that doesn't uh, necessarily affect things, does it? Look at all that wood. Very nice. 81, 82. Oh, it's a clubman. It's be an 81 then if it's a clubman. 90, 4, 95. Another clubman. Get quite a late one, 1980 to 81. Mid 70s pick up here, 74, 75. Mark 7 Cooper, 1997, 1998. Look at that airbag wheel, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Early revived Cooper. 1990-91. I've just seen looking me 1275 GT with that front end. 78-79. Another club in the state. 79 to 80. It's a pretty crazy gear lever, that. That's pretty crazy. Hello to the Smurf Mini 80 on Instagram. This one says there's a Garfield on the side. Garfield 8283. Hello to Garfield dot the mini. dot mini on Instagram. Uh, mini Turtle. That's what I'm going to call. That's what I'm going to call it. Yes. 788 Mini Clubman. It's very original with the interior and steering wheel. Uh, 80 to 81. Mini Mayfair. 87. Sorry, no, it's an F. It's an 88 to 89. It's almost the same as the one that, uh, that I drove two years ago on my channel. Uh, I'm going to skip that one, I'm afraid. Oh, a Mini 35, another one. So it'll be 1994. 
69 to 70, Mini Mark 3. Current generation Mini Cooper S, it's the five door. I think the current generation was the actual first one we did in a five door body. Apart from, you know, things like the Countryman and things like that. 2004 R53 Cooper S. Ooh, a mini Ginny. Eighty-nine, ninety. Yeah, yeah. yeah, another mini thirty-five. Yeah. Again, nineteen ninety-four. Is the Cooper Sport the US? We don't know. Someone's changed the back end of it. I'm not sure. This looks like a. To make, what was the other one available? It wasn't a Cooper for these, for these really late minis. I can't remember now, because somebody will tell me in the comment section below. I'm sure. Or a Mini 40. Definitely, it's got the um, steering column for the Mark 7. So, next one's this one. Oh, it's a uh, chase of born motors. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my lady wife and I just watched the born supremacy. <laughs> um, I also am familiar with the original born identity from 1988. That's not, an exag that's not a joke, by the way. There was a two part film made of the born identity in 1988 with absolutely no minis in it at all. R53 Mini Cooper S. Uh, this is the strange, I call it the Mini Coupe. Yes, they do, uh, yes. It's another one of these um, current shape Mini Cooper John Cooper works, which are 22 plate, wow. 2000 Last of the Line Cooper. Oh, it's a Mini 850, the first one I've seen of these. Uh, 72, 73, I don't mean um, stuff like the old uh, Austin 7 and the Morris Mini Meyer, I mean from the one that's 850 on the back. 19... 93, 1994. Oh, it marks 7 Cooper. Some... Natty graphics on it. Lots and lots and lots and lots of spot lamps. And of course it's Countryman, but uh, I think I heard the engine really came in and it sounds like it's got a diesel in it, so we're going to have to uh, walk away, viewers. Because we don't talk about diesels on this channel, all the Prince engine, I'm afraid. R50, R53 Mini 1. Bit of a simpler interior from the uh, Cooper or Cooper S. And this is what a Studio 2 should look like viewers, unlike the one that I'm driving this weekend. It should have these graphics on it like this and should have these seats in it. Of course the one that I'm driving doesn't have any of that in it at all. But uh, this is what it would have looked like uh, when it came out of the factory. Very nice indeed. Although these uh, wheels would have been in a later edition. 94, 95, Mini Mark 6, yes, Mark 6. Ooh, Mini 95 pickups, uh, 1980, 81. I think, though, we've got a different engine in it from standard. Yes, from Dutch speed. Countryman or Clubman, 78, 70. Sorry, no, Clubman or Thompson Tire GT, I should say. 78, 79. With a very contemporary looking um, Cabrio. I'm not sure what year that is. I don't know. I think it's a personal plate, but I might be wrong. I hope this is not a. 
diesel views. No, it isn't. It's a Cooper S. Excellent. 84, 85 Mini here that's been uh, modified a bit. And of course, Fat Wally Surf Shack. Very retro. 94, 95 Mini Mark 6 here. Another one of these uh, current generation minis. It's just a Cooper. Good old roof rack and um, rear lights that have been made to look a bit older. Again, 84, 85. Bit of what this would have started as at all. Um, ooh, is that a mini Monte Carlo wheel? I didn't. We made a Monte Carlo Special Edition actually of these in the 80s. Maybe I'm wrong. As I frequently am. 1997-1998 Mini Cooper. Another one from the same which is Cooper Sport. Ooh, we've got some engine modifications going on there. I think I'm just going to pause here a second, dude, because this number plate looks really, really familiar to me. Hold on a moment. Yes, I was right. The Mini in the original Mr. Bean pilot from 1990 was RNT 996H. It's be a 69. This is a Mark II, like that one was. But this is a this is a pretty posh one. It's a Morris Cooper. Thousand. If this is a genuine Mark II Morris Cooper, it's worth a lot of money. That's beautiful. Unlike that one there, and you've got green engine block and cylinder head going on there. That's really, really nice. R53 Cooper S. Supercharge going on. Another one of these 80s minis that uh, has been modified. There's so many of them now. Um, this one is 87, 88 on an F. Five-speed gearbox in that. And a club in front end, why not? Uh, I'll just skip that one, I'm afraid, viewers. Yes, I think so. Ooh. I think that's another modified Cooper S. Yes, it is. Another Cooper S. Gosh, there's loads of them. Maybe they're just parked all together or something up here. Ooh, yes. Early. Cooper on a 51, not quite as early as the um, as the Y registration ones, but there we go. A couple of current shape minis here, a couple of Coopers, and then the R52 or 54 Cabri. I never remember which uh, which one it is. I'm very bad like that, I'm afraid. Work going on over there, hence the noise. As this one we're going to have to skip you, as it might possibly be, and this one too. Yes, I'm afraid so. This one knows the current John Cooper works, like this one is, which are very, very quick. Right, I've only got a few more to go now, and then this part will be over. I'm sure some of you are begging for it to finish. Cabrio in there. Ooh, a very nice 1275 GT. Uh, 7273 registration. Don't know what's going on in there. Ooh, 86, 87. It's that one. It's having some kind of emissions work done on it. Right, don't step on the pipe. Mini Sport Limited has got this thing on the back. I'm not sure what's sure. going with that. Let's go around the front. 68-69 Mini Mark II. Keith Richardson Rally Mini, as seen on the YouTube channel Jetland Motor Racing Team. Excellent. 1982-83 Mini Project. Uh, what's the number one problem with minis? Um, holes of rust. That uh, would appear to be the issue. That's going to take a while, I think, but uh, these days you can't really buy minis in sort of 
any condition for under a thousand pounds anymore. So it's worth doing up, I should think. Excellent. Croker and Bridger, branches in London and Turin, British Land distributors. Appropriately, an Italian job mini, and not just any Italian job mini, this is an Isle of Wight registration, so it's a local car to this area. What an amazing thing to end, uh, end on, 92, 93 registration. Right, thank you ever so much indeed for watching part three of uh, this uh, Isle of Wight mini adventure with West Country minis. We shall uh, be back later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment below. And uh, we shall see you again soon. We might have a little spin out this afternoon with some of the others. It should be a lot of fun. Thank you.